Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome to Total Conflict. The early access, actually, it's a demo. I'm so used to saying early access, but this is actually a free demo, you can play it right now, of a title that is being worked on, small indie dev, and it looks pretty cool. If I was going to sum this up, let's go ahead and get by that and look at the main menu. If I was gonna sum this up to, it would, it's something like a modern version of Mountain Blade where you're using modern military equipment, or at least equipment from the last 30 so years. Um, stuff like M1 Abrams, et cetera, et cetera, Bradleys. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into a new game of it, talk about what the developers are planning, what they have in right now for the demo. So right now, they are planning an absolute ton of various factions in a makeup, made up environment where we're hoping every one of these factions will have a different technology tree and vehicle access. At the moment, we've only got four to choose from. They're all democracies, and they all have the same gear and equipment, which is uh, relatively modern US equipment, sort of. Uh, so you're gonna see stuff like, as I said, Abrams and Bradleys and Humvees that are in there. We'll pick one and dive right into it. The only difference right now to all the different factions, and we'll close this out. This is the tutorial that you'll be able to run through and learn the basics of how to play, but we'll go ahead and close that. Let's look over the map. The game works like this. There is an over map, very mountain blade, where your armies sit and you can order them to move around, to attack other villages, um, other military installations, take over those bits of territory, and that will expand your economy. It'll expand where your supplies can reach, and there are some places that you can take over that are gonna be your production areas, your hubs, your production factories. Let's go ahead and look at the research tree. This is based on as time goes by at the moment. Maybe we'll see this change with what you know kind of structures you control, but at the moment, these are your tech trees, ammunition, weapons, and vehicles. Under ammunition, you get your scopes and the ammo types that you're gonna need. Keep this in mind that this counts for vehicles too. Um, there is the RPG ammo in the bottom right hand corner. If you're looking for it like I was my first attempt, it's down there. Uh, weapons, all the weapons that you can unlock at the moment. You get stuff like uh, sniper rifles, bullet action. Uh, you've got XM8, you've got the the MK14, SCARs, you know, all your kind of traditional shooter. And P90s in there too. Get your SMG on, get your starting date on. And then vehicles, which you can unlock. Now you will start with vehicles in some of the battalions that you've already got that you won't be able to replace right away. So keep that in mind, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the M. I'm gonna go for the research for the uh, logistical truck. I believe having these built in your battalion means that the battalion will be able to move on the over map faster. Um, I don't know if they show up in the actual battles, but the rest of these vehicles definitely will. We'll go ahead and close that. As time goes by, that research will continue. Looking over the territory that we control at the moment, if we move an army, these battalions, and we can move them around the map. I can give them orders and they'll move. If we move them across the border into what is considered neutral territory at the moment, it's not red, um, they will start a war with us. That war will begin and they'll be very pissed off. And we do have enemy rebels in the area that we could get into a fight with if we want to. And we can see this battalion is made up of, what is this, six squads? Six various squads. I can click on them to see what units are inside. They've all got different weapons on board. They've got their ammunition set. This matters. Those supplies matter. You're gonna have to move supplies from your production up to wherever your front line is, and they will physically be moved on the map using a, a vehicle. You'll see it moving around as you dispatch them, which I think is quite cool. Uh, as you're recruiting new battalions and new squads in those battalions, which we can totally do, let's grab um, the 21st battalion at the top. They've got all kinds of cool vehicles, ooh, including an artillery piece, and I'd love to see that in action. Uh, but we'll add a squad here. Notice the squad only has a pistol on them. That's kind of lame. Uh, and they've only got one unit. If we unpause the game, and I'm gonna go ahead and order this unit to move, uh, actually, let's have you guys move this direction. Um, if I, uh, let me leave you here for just a second. If we leave them in the city, they will pull from the manpower of the city and the supplies of the city. And that's how you make those units. And it takes time for them to generate. Now they've got two with Colt 1911s and, and, and a little bit of ammunition and some um, RPGs. They got four RPGs but that supply isn't gonna last forever. So if we wanna keep making units, we're gonna have to keep our supplies up. That means we're gonna need stuff like, well, if we're using a lot of weirdly 45s, uh, then we're gonna need to make 45 ammunition. There you go, 45 ammunition, we'll make a couple of 45s as well. We have almost no good products to make. We need to get that research going. Another thing that I kinda, I dig this idea, is that once you get your production facilities going, and you can see the cities that these are in, this is in Compelios, which is, I believe, in the middle of the map. Yeah, there it is, middle of the map. So this is one of our production areas. 
Um, that's building three things at a time versus Veleros, which is only making one thing at a time. Um, but as we research more stuff, we'll get way more access. But one of the cool things about production is that if you set up a, uh, a production area to work on something like, say they're making an artillery tank, they take a long time to make. Well, the longer that city is being, is, is focused, that production is focused on making that one thing, they're going to refine their abilities. We're gonna move that artillery down here to kill those, those uh, rebels. Um, they're gonna get better at it. They're gonna get faster at it because they've, they're, they're refining their production line. But if you keep changing the thing that they're making, then they're gonna lose that, that bonus for having gotten good at making that one thing over and over and over again. All right, let's move some troops over. I'm gonna right click you. If you've ever played a Total War game, you'll kind of recognize this. You can move units from one army to the next, and we're just gonna move over some squads. I'm actually gonna move them all over. Don't recommend you do this because now you won't have any defenses in the city, but uh, now we've got a proper group. Yes. Um, we have what, 10 squads here? What's the highest number? Oh, these need to be renamed. They're like, there's two first squads. Uh, that's okay. Let's go ahead and start a fight and we'll get into what it looks like when you're in a proper battle because what got my attention with this is that it's not just a 4x with an over map that they're working on and it's not just, you know, dealing with your economy and moving your troops, but once a battle starts, it's very uh, Total War-like again. You get your auto resolve and your manual battle and now it turns into a RTS slash first person shooter where you're commanding squads, moving artillery and armor around to engage an enemy on the battlefield. Bear in mind though, if you are gonna play the demo, the demo seems to lack maps. There aren't too many of them or they seem very samey. They're all these like forested maps, um, very dense. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. That's great. Mobile artillery, hell yeah. I love it. The turret looks so, so funny on that, la that little tiny chassis. Uh, we do have an Abrams in this army as well. And it looks like an old school M113 in the back. Nice. All right, so the normal standard shooter controls, I can sprint around. It looks like I have a silly pistol as my main weapon. Um, I can sprint around, I can aim down sights, I can fire, I can reload. Animation's all pretty decent, feels smooth. I can throw a grenade if I had any. Um, yeah, so that's those controls. Right, directly straightforward. You can also, from this perspective, as the commander of this army, you can, if I hit one, I have selected our first unit, our artillery unit, and now I can order them. I want you guys set up, um, I want you off the road and I want you right here. Get moving. I right clicked and they're gonna move there now. It's a little rudimentary and it's not perfect in this early version. Like if I select them and I tell them, uh, it's supposed to be middle click, rotate squad. If I do it, he doesn't really, like, like he kind of moves around, but he doesn't really do anything. Wait, 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 he's doing it, he's doing it. Okay, that, okay, but sort of, but he didn't really rotate in a direction I wanted him to, like, I want him to look that way, so. Let's see, what if I tell you to do that? Yeah, he's still not quite doing it, but I can right-click, oops, I can right-click and then he'll move around. But there's some commands there. I can tell them to leave the vehicle, hitting J. The crew will jump out. You can hear the engine shut off. I can select them once again. I can tell them with a right click to get back into the vehicle. They'll get in, they'll start the engine back up. I can order squad two, and I'm just using the number keys to do this, number two, so it's, it's pretty intuitive. Move your armor up to the road. And the squad that's backing him up will continue to follow. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, what I have found is that giving attack orders is very questionable. They'll basically fire at whatever they want. Now this is irritating, because if you need to kill something that's anti-vehicle with a vehicle, and they refuse to target that vehicle. Well, you can guess what's probably gonna happen. You're gonna lose yours because you didn't target the right thing. Uh, we'll mess around with that some more and see if we can get it to work. But if I hit M, now we're in like an RTS mode with my only complaint being that no matter what I've looked at, I can't seem to find a way to rotate the camera downwards. It just refuses to do it, but I can rotate around and I can zoom up and I can zoom down. We can even scroll forward holding shift to speed it up. We know that the enemy is down this road somewhere, probably inside the forest, I would imagine. I hear a vehicle. We have an enemy vehicle right here. It's an M113, just kind of staring down the road, waiting to ambush whoever comes out. This is an enemy uh, rebel vehicle. We're gonna have to deal with that. Probably gonna just move an Abrams up and watch it disappear. Because if an Abrams can't take that out. The only thing that we have to worry about, this is a really bad map for us, is it probably means that the enemy is gonna be in the woods and we brought a ton of vehicles. Fourth squad, 
Uh, go ahead and get out of the vehicle. I have noticed that transport vehicles, when you tell them to get out, they will keep a crew on board. But they will disembark the squad that you had there. So that's kind of nice. All right. Let's move up. Let's get a fight going. Group two, move up. You can box select as well. Um, our artillery. Oh, by the way, uh, I love this. Let's do this. If I hit H while having them selected, I can manually control any of the vehicles. It's a little limited. It hasn't let me switch weapons to use, like, the 762 on the top. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I can right-click. I can aim the main cannon. Let's see if we can get an eye and angle on it. Though I can't zoom in much. It's very hard to actually use this. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Fire! Oh, yeah. Well, well over. I was hoping that would kind of arc, but... Yeah! You can drive all the vehicles. You can run the infantry. Very, very, very cool. And I love the physics for the vehicles. They, all, they kind of pop all over the place. There is only, especially when you order them, the vehicles only have one mode. It's either full acceleration or full brake. There is no in-between. You just, you gotta go. All right, let's hit M. Switch back to command mode. Let's start a fight. Hopefully it goes well. Uh, all right, our artillery is in, not a, I mean, it's in a place. It's not great. It's not terrible. Uh, let's move you and the armored APC up. Let's move the Abrams up. And then let's move the other squads forward to kind of support here. And I want you guys close, so I'm ordering you to head out into the woods. And then the artillery is moving up. Stay behind. Stay behind. I know how I want to use you, but I don't know if you're going to work that way. All right. Armor's moving. Something tells me that I think the artillery still, for some reason, needs, like, a line of sight at this range. It's probably definitely. Um... Okay, we should have enemy contact in a moment because they were down this road a second ago. And if there's any vehicle that can take on that M113, it should be an Abrams. You got a shot? No, because he's moved. He's, he's moved. He's either fallen back or he's changed positions. We do have enemy infantry back there. Um, oh, there he is right there. Yeah, he's moved behind the farmhouse. Okay, so we're going to push farther forward. Let's um, actually move the artillery to this kind of clearing over here. Maybe we can start giving them trouble from here and then make sure that they can't just counter us. Let's move up the APCs to the right-hand side. Keep them in the woods. And then the rest of the squads, because I know you're slow, let's get you moving through the woods as well. But man, if they can if they can refine the command, the, the, the commands, the way you order to attack and target individual targets, this could be freaking epic. Maybe bring in some support options, right? So if you get a... If you take over an airfield on the map, maybe you have the option to bring in some airstrikes as a support option, like an off-map support option. Get some uh, A-10s and F-16s flying over and giving support. All right, let's move up. The squads are starting to approach. APCs move up on the right. Hopefully we don't get too surprised. The trees are really screwing us for line of sight. Killed something. Was not the vehicle, though. Looks like we have infantry contact. And, we, I mean, as long as we've got line of sight, we should be able to outrange them pretty handedly. Oh! Our artillery has now been made aware of where the enemy location is and is already starting to fire. Beautiful. We do have to kill that, that 113 before we get any closer because that cannon's going to be a problem. Enemy infantry are starting to push up. Enemy rocket! It hit a tree, hit a tree. Looks like we're getting decent kills here. Let's move up the squad. You guys are in the tree line, so I'm hoping for the best. Fall back, squad. No, Artie, Artie, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Yeah, you keep firing. Jeez, the... Remember, I can't make these. This is the only artillery piece that we're gonna get right now until we get those resources. Uh, our Abrams is taking a lot of fire. I'm going to back him off a little bit because I'm worried that he's going to get too close to that enemy infantry that's approaching. Uh, how's our APCs doing? We were moving them up on the right. Good. We didn't move them too far. Because we've got that artillery, I say we just kind of hang back and we let that ar artillery do its job and move infantry up the left-hand side, which are a little bit easier for us to 
replenish if we need to. Enemy down. Uh, fourth squad on the enemy side is down to five units left. I swear that was a four a second ago. Oh, there must be infantry here, or we're getting uh, explosive rounds like detonating right there. I think they're. Ex I think they're trying to shoot us with. Is that hostile? No, that's gotta be group. That's gotta be group truce. Yeah, his, his infantry backing him up. I'm gonna back you off. I'm gonna back you off. Now, I don't know if this uses a, a health bar system, right? There's like a certain amount of health for these. Um, are you facing backwards? Oh, what are you doing? That guy is now dead. <laughs> He's underneath the cannon when it fired. <laughs> infantry are pushing up on the right hand side. I'm gonna tell them to go ahead and attack. The order's been given. We're gonna switch to the rear squad. And we're gonna follow them up and we're gonna see what this looks like from the perspective of the infantry. Uh, we do have some casualties. Now I can't see a damn thing in this fight. I'm glad that they can. There is a house over here. I'm going to switch to command mode. And I'm going to order squad five. Oh no, it looks like one of our groups is falling back. Yeah, it looks like their morale has been broken and they're starting to fall back. I'm going to order these two squads to move up. They're already moving up. Squad five's already figured it out. Let's move into the building. And I can actually tell them to enter the building. That's awesome. So they're now going inside. They're smart enough to do that. We might have to make a play for it. Um, I'd love to move the APCs on the right-hand side in and start doing some serious damage. We do have an enemy squad to our right. They were smart enough to move up on us. No, they are starting to take fire. I think it's from the defense group of the... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's from our artillery, right? Yeah, he's got to be a member of the artillery squad. So while they're moving up, I'm going to move the Abrams in. And, and take control over this nonsense. Rotate the cannon. So you're not driving in ass first anymore, please. Thank you. And we're going to get into a fight. We know we've got enemy contact right there. I don't really want to stop, so we're going to roll around on the left because we know we've got friendly infantry. Hostile infantry. It's all small arms. Oh, that wasn't small arms. That was an RPG. Just hit that building. Okay, I'm going to leave you here. This is a good spot for you. I think that's what we're going to see a lot of in this is that you have the option to command your units, put them in position, and then let them do their job. Ooh, the artillery is just disgusting. Target spotted. Medic. Tango down. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, it looks like we either killed or lost sight of the enemy infantry that was on the right. So I'm, I'm ordering us to move in. I think we've eliminated most of their anti-vehicle. We're moving up. We've got multiple enemy squads that need to be dealt with. It's time to move in. Where's the squads? Uh, they're pathfinding through the tree line right now. Actually, no, they're going to hit the road. Oh, no. They're going to go through the road? I mean, okay. I guess that's fine. We do have an enemy squad behind us. Changing your order. Back in the building. That enemy squad could be a problem. Get back in the building. Oh boy. I don't know if you're even aware that there's a building there. Let's move you forward. Let's you move up. 130 meters before the APCs arrive. Oh, they managed to make it through the tree line. There they come. Here they come. But, like, for a super early look at what this is capable of, I mean, I can't wait to see what they do with it. And there are, wait, there we go. Um, they have lost all fighting strength and decided to run off. We had uh, one enemy captured. 
Uh, and I wonder what we're going to be able to do with that at some point. Uh, they lost one vehicle. We didn't lose any vehicles. We had six injured, and we lost 36 infantry. So we did lose a number of infantry. Uh, I wonder what we could have done differently there. Back to the global map. We have annihilated the few rebels that were inside of our territory. And now it's time to head back. Okay, we're not at war with any of the main factions yet. Our production is kind of ongoing. We can probably want to cancel one of these and in just a second, I will just let time speed up. Uh, pick up, oh, what were we researching? Oh, we were researching vehicles this time. My first, my first and second campaign, I did RPGs. So never mind, you might as, there's no reason not to. Let's order you to pick up, ah, 762 ammunition. Can't go wrong with that. As time carries on. But for instance, let's say 9th Battalion, we have a hostile empire up here and I wanna send you resources. I wanna send you back up. So you're in defense mode, you're defending that area. Um, we want well to done. send up a M923 supply trucks. Let's pick up, ooh, 12.7 machine gun ammo, huh? And that will bring me to Humvees. I mean, the ability to produce Humvees would be pretty sweet. And that's only a 15 day research, which really isn't much. We'll go for Humvees this time. Uh, say I'm desperately in need of uh, RPGs. We've got 82 RPGs. We can't produce them. Let's send 30 RPGs and we want to send them up to uh, Halanzi. Uh, so let's go click this, click the RPGs. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I just lost them. RPGs. You choose what city you want them to go to. How many you want to send? I want to send a convoy of uh, 30. So like a few crates worth. Send the convoy. And there goes the truck, right there. Now, I don't know yet if these can be maybe captured by the enemy, that would be quite cool. Um, what a neat little like extra mission kind of deal if you could capture these or ambush them or just put an army on the road to cut them off. Uh, what I do know is that at the moment, say we own this area right here, this region, and we lost this region in the center. Well, that would mean that we'd have to go around those cities inside that region now to resupply the region in the north if we wanted to, and that means our supply lines are gonna get longer and longer. So there's already a little bit of, you can kind of see the future of this game. But that's generally it. You get this cool 4X style map. It's like kind of three games in one. Uh, you get the ground battles in real time, and then you get the, you can play in first person, you can drive all the vehicles, and you can run, um, you can run in an RTS mode all the way zoomed out, which is quite cool. For the demo, we'll keep an eye on this. The first or the original uh, release that they're talking about is the first quarter of 2023. So we've got some time. Hopefully uh, we will see, I'm hoping it's gonna be a full release, but I would bet it's gonna be some kind of early access. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, you guys know what to do. I will see you all in the next one. Later, everybody.